uh, in this video we will discuss about the welding using ANSYS Fluent so here we will be using solidification and melting uh, model in the ANSYS Fluent in order to model the welding process so this is the mesh what I have generated uh, with element size of uh, uh, 0.1 mm it's a bit fine it will be sufficient for our uh, trial case so now these are the named sections what I have given so this is a friend so you just if you want to create a named selection you can just click this right click create neighbor selection so this is a front neighbor selection and uh, you can see this is a side this is the back top bottom and that part is a symmetry right so this part is a symmetry so this is a, uh, a rectangular block on which I'm trying to weld uh, on this surface it's, it's like I'm just applying the heat source on this surface so what kind of heat source I'll be applying is uh, this is the heat source what I will try to apply this is the heat source to the arc welding uh, what is being applied on this uh, top part which is a function of the radius so it will be radially varying from the center point where I apply okay I have used the UDF in order to apply this and this it is the efficiency of the arc welding V is the voltage I is the current and X plus Z is nothing but location of the point which is varying with respect to the center line so maybe if you can take this as the arc weld zone so from this point to any point on this circle within the circle so the heat flux varies in this way which is dependent on x and z variables which is the x coordinate and z coordinate and on applying this uh, heat flux onto the surfaces so the weld strength or the velocities on this weld pool everything will depend on the amount of oxygen present O2 right so that O2 representation is taken with respect to this A so this A what you are seeing in the screen will represent that uh, O2 concentration in ppm so this uh, this gamma is nothing but the surface tension which is a function of temperature and this surface tension is the value which is at the melting point and you can see this A uh, A is nothing but uh, your surface tension uh, sorry uh, it is a negative of uh, dou gamma by dou t so A is nothing but negative of the variation of surface tension with respect to dou t T is the temperature of the metal and Tm is the melting point, R is the gas constant. Again, this tau S is nothing but uh, the absorption uh, coefficient and the K, seg uh, K segment, what K seg, what you are seeing on the screen is nothing but the, uh, the uh, entropy of segregation. So the entropy of segregation again depends on this K1 and uh, delta H which is our uh, act, uh, it's a uh, heat of adsorption and R is a gas constant, T is the temperature. So this is uh, a relation what we need to give in the ANSYS fluent as a UDF but directly we cannot give this uh, variability of uh, surface tension in the UDF. So we need to model with respect to or with the help of a shear stress. So you can just uh, give this as a shear stress model into the ANSYS fluent in order to have the effect of the variation of surface tension with respect to the temperature as well as a variation of that surface tension not only with respect to temperature but also with respect to these functions the heat of adsorption and all those things right now uh, just I'll uh, walk through the setup how we need to create for the demonstration purpose I'm taking a constant uh, uh, surface tension but actually the surface tension is a variable with respect to temperature and all the variables what I have shown you on the screen Well, again revisit so these are the variables what it depends so surface tension at the constant temperature and at the melting point and uh, universal gas or, or sorry gas constant a is the activity of the oxygen what we will try to consider k is again that is the function of uh, heat of absorption as well as uh, gas constant and temperature so this cannot be modeled as an udf remember you need to give with respect to the stress inside the fluent module so now is this transient uh, condition what we are trying to model with G as minus 9.81 and in the model so I will turn on the energy viscosity is laminar 
switch on the solidification melting I'll include pool velocities also so we are trying to mod model solidification and melting right so we'll just modify this area as a steel uh, metal which has some uh, uh, solid, uh, solidus point and liquidus point so solidus point for uh, steel it is 1658 uh, and the liquidus is 1723 and uh, the density of this one is 7800 Specifically, I'll just leave it as 8 or maybe 650. It is also variable with respect to solidus and liquidus, but time being, I'm taking it as a constant. You can have a variable with respect to the solidus and liquidus temperatures. And thermal conductivity, I'll take it as an average of 45. And viscosity, obviously, if you have a high viscosity, so that is like 0 0.006. And uh, the latent heat what we are trying to give is uh, 2.45 into 10 power 5 e power 5 so this is the solvent heat what it need to uh, require in order to uh, raise for 1 kg of uh, steel so change create as i want to overwrite that I'm go to cell zone conditions and go to solid in the solid it's the steel already need not worry and go to wall uh, before that you just need to compile the user defined heat flux which is a variable with respect to the distance i think it's here yeah So there is no errors load it so there's a source where we need to give it on the weld and we also need to uh, specify the mark on stress the stress value is i'll take it as 0 0.0001 so this is a constant value what i've taken but it is actually a variable and that variable we need to give with respect to the temperature that has already shown it on the screen if anybody require that uh, how we can take that with respect to CS tests, you can just contact through mail. You can link this, apply, close, and you can go to the methods. Simple. Okay, it's okay. Then I'll just initialize it. So go initialize it and run calculation. Select this time step size and these are number of time steps. And uh, so I defined. Uh, few of the counters one is a velocity counter this is a temperature counter and other is a magnitude along a plane so these things i have selected and i have created an animations of those things and i click on calculate so it will take uh, some time maybe six to seven hours i'll just leave it and i'll come after six to seven hours and remember one thing i have also modified here uh, one uh, thing which i forgot recently so i have activated the density as bosonic and i have given 7800 with this is the thermal coefficient of expansion okay for steel this is the modification what i have done uh, before again firing the uh, calculation and after calculating that i have got these as the results maybe after uh, many uh, iterations of many time steps so these are the results what i've got as you can see on the screen till this point and these are the animations what I have extracted I'll just show you so this is how velocity vectors are varying you can see velocity vectors there is a topmost part they are having a high velocity because there is a huge heat that is coming in and due to the density difference heated metal will go up and there is a velocity vector at the top at a higher magnitude so that is obviously evident from this results also how the velocity vectors are moving and how that uh, velocity of the metal is also getting along through and you can also check this counter instead of uh, vectors
you can see how this velocity counters have been just moving in the forward direction with respect to the heat flux that is been varying uh, along this line so I've also extracted the uh, heat flux uh, so I'll just show you that uh, uh, temperature counters also you can just check here I've extracted this video this is the way how the temperature counters is getting varied so the temperature is around 2000 Kelvin I have uh, configured and the 2000 Kelvin it is getting uh, moved along the line uh, through which we have given that uh, profile of the defined uh, profile of uh, heat flux which is varying with respect to the x y coordinates how uh, this video has given an insight how to model uh, welding using ANSYS fluent through solidification melting and through the uh, UDFs so for any other queries uh, you can just contact through the mail id that is provided in the uh, link below thank you